Hey gang, welcome back. Okay, so you will remember from the last episode we had just uh, pretty much finished off the Sun Shall Fall where we took down Duval um, and his Clintox. So we pretty much just got to wrap it up. Um, let's start by speaking with oops, speaking with Duval himself. I could figure out how to get to him. Or we can open up this box, that's also good too. Um, clearly that was the wrong way. What do my tired eyes see? A hunter, surely. Come, talk to me a moment. Hush. Where are you taking the game? Oh, there you are. Hey, Duvall. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, it's... I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, let's go uh, speak with the king and um, Erend. Where is he? How do I get to you people? Could you spare a moment to speak of the finer things? Hey everyone. I'm just coming through. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go talk to the king and my friend. Hey, Erend. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Draval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. <laughs> so, what now? So, after all this, what's next for Aaron Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. Yeah. Well, what about Durval? What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. Good. I can live with that. <laughs> In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well, take care. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me, while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. Aw, oh, is that goodbye? Are we, like, completely done with Aaron? Will we never be seeing him again? That's sad. Okay, uh... Where's the king? He's behind... There he is, he's right there. Hey, Avad. Aloy. To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. 
And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Um... You and Ursa? We're you and Ursa... You know. I suppose it's obvious how I feel. How I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Dervo. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. So what about Durval? What exactly will happen to Durval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. Some Osiron devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Consider staying. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Um, I need to go my own way. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. Uh, on that note, goodbye. It's time for me to go. <laughs> of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Sure. Well, there you go. The sun shall fall is over. Okay. Um, well, that's cool. Let's see, do we have any treasure boxes? We do not. Alright, cool. Hey, save Meridian from its foe. Nice. We got a trophy. I like trophies. Alright, what I want to do... Uh, let's see, how close do I have to get in to get... Is that the corrupted zone I couldn't do before? We need to do a corrupted zone. Um, it's kind of the one thing... We're really far behind on. These are all level 34 scripted zones. There's one down here, which is only level 23. All right, let's go do this one. All right. Um. Oh, look at my Ridgewood. Holy cow. That's not funny. I'm like really low on Ridgewood. I want to turn on the Shadow Blast Sling. So let's see if I can find that in my inventory. Um, it'll be a sling. And it should be ultra rare. There it is. Um... 
let's see, what do I have? Shadow Slink. Okay, I'm going to take you and put you down here. Uh, and then we're going to turn on the quest for that, which is going to be Shadow Blast Sling quest. Kill three machines with proximity bombs. Okay. 20 is proximity bombs. There they are. And they don't require witch wood. I like it. Okay. Where is my corrupted zone? Let's go check it out. On the way, maybe we could get some Ridgewood. <laughs> and also find some raccoons. And it's everything except raccoons. Foxes. Anyway, let's go see what we got over here. Stalkers. Crap. How many stalkers? At least two, because I see one right there. Yeah, I'm supposed to kill him with a proximity bomb. Come on, buddy. Nice. I gotta kill three of you. I like it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Where'd you go? Where did they go? Cool. This seems confused. That's easy enough. Keep quiet now. Nice, nice. Where's the other one? There's one more. There he is. to go. Oh, come on. There's another one? Oh, no. That's the same one. Might be two. Hey, rude. Come here, fool. Come running through my traps. You're being a pain in the ass. I see you there. Yeah, moved all your components, didn't I? Why are you all the way over there? Come here. Yeah! And a corrupted zone. That's two quests done. I'd have to ditch something. At once.
Nice. How's that for efficiency? I like it. Okay. Of course, I had to use a bunch of potions. Can't be too prepared. Any raccoons? Oh, <gasps> raccoon. Ah, white. It's not going to do me any good. I need skins, people. Any more raccoons? Foxes, rabbits. Nope. Fish. The raccoons are so difficult to find, and then you find them, and you kill them, and they just got meat. No skins. Okay, um, that's good. We just did a tutorial quest. Yeah, that's actually a pretty decent weapon. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and open up those boxes. Echo shells are good. Metal shards are good. Outfit weave. Outfit weave. Yeah, see, I have too many damn modifiers again. Okay, let's disassemble a couple of these. Um, handling. 38% handling. And that's my lowest one. Uh, fire. Okay. That at least helps that. Helps things out. Okay, what do we got in the way of quests? Oh, uh, corrupted zones. Finished off the corrupted zone. Indeed, we did. Indeed, we did. As well as a tutorial, which is nice. Okay. Um, what do we got? We got just a couple of minutes. Um. flower way up here. We wanted to go grab that. Um, where is Death from the Skies located? Past this level 32. Oh, back in Pitchcliff. Let's head here. Holy crap. Uh, we're not going to have time to take on that many... Glintox. Oh, the resources, for that matter. Um... Although I do seem to have allies, so... I'm not doing any good, am I? Oh my god, I can't... I hate fighting in the talks. It's such a pain in the butt.
Yipes. Where is everybody? I don't even know where he is. There goes the Glendock. One down. How many left? Uh, at least a few. Well, now there's less. Now you're going down. You're going down. There's another one down. Where'd he go? It's the third flock we face today. Sure, sure. Um, I'll do that, but not today. Um, still, that was pretty good. That was a bunch of clint hawks. What we're going to go do right now is wrap it up, so... Hello, turkey. There is a campfire up here somewhere. I think. Yeah, there it is. Our lives if someone hadn't stepped in. Okay, let's go ahead and save the game here, guys, and see where we're at. I feel like we should have made some pretty decent progress. Any one of us could have died. So let's take a look at our notebook um, and statistics, or game progression, I guess. Uh, Sixty-nine point six eight, also just shy of seventy percent. So pretty good, pretty good. Um, So yeah, we're not doing too bad. Can you believe there's still a machine that I don't know what it is? What is up with that? Um, collectibles, yeah, skills. We've got two skill points. Not enough for what I want. But okay, um, very good. Uh, we're gonna stop here, guys. So let me take a minute to thank my patrons. My five dollar plus patrons are Michael Hilliard and Mytho Serving. My $3 plus patrons are listed in the description below, along with any links that they've requested that I link to. Please do go check that out. Good stuff in there, guys. And then finally, at the end of this episode, you're going to see a list of all my $1 plus patrons. Thank you very much, guys. It is much appreciated. Without your support, this would be a much more difficult endeavor. So I do appreciate the help. How could we defend ourselves against that? Okay, gang, we will stop here and we will pick this back up in the next episode. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.
Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to comment, like, and subscribe. All these things really help me out. I'd like to say a big thanks to all my patrons whose names are appearing on the screen right now. Thanks a lot, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more great content, consider joining my list of patrons. There's a link on the screen in the bottom left corner. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.